I'm not going to lie, I don't understand how I keep making these videos on time. Because I feel like I just spent, like, two days, or, or two weeks in a row, spending more than, like, ten days between recording the sessions, somehow. I don't know how that happened. Well, I know how it happened, but, like, I don't know how it actually ended up working out. <laughs> Anyways... Welcome back to Yakuza 0. Um, hopefully I don't run into people that try and beat me up, because I'm actually trying to go somewhere, but... We all know that that's gonna happen anyway, so... You know. Um... I may as well... Is there something going on here? Okay, never mind. Nothing of my concern, just this second. We had enough fun doing side quests on the last episode, so we're just not gonna worry about that at all. Right this second. Okay. Maybe I'll talk to this guy. The man who likes Shogi! I don't know how to play Shogi, so... Never mind. Are you interested in Shogi? I'll give you some slack if you're not an experienced player. Okay, uh, sure, I'll, I'll play one game of Shogi just because I, uh... I have, I have zero confidence in my Shogi skills. I have no idea what I'm doing. Wow, who could have seen that one coming? Ah, uh, yeah, never mind. I am never coming back, pal. Uh, Shogi... Shogi goes over my head in the same way that chess does, except at least I can kind of figure out chess. This does not make any sense to me. Alright, let's actually do something important to the story, how about we? <laughs> wasn't that... What do you mean, wasn't that, you street hooligans? Okay, I don't have to deal with them. Ooh, good, because I didn't want to have to deal with them at all. Hey, I've seen this guy before, haven't I? Right? Right? Hey, how you doing? Mind telling me what I'm doing here at the ramen shop? What are you here to tell me that you're going to give my crush to my devilishly looking best friend in college? Huh? Huh? This is the only ramen shop reference that I can make. And it's from a show that I don't think makes much sense. Oh my gosh. I keep thinking about it as like Hot Tub Time Machine, but it's not. It's, it's Tatami Mat Time Machine, you know? It's such a weird show, and it's very fast-paced. But the, the way that it's stylized, I have a great respect for pretty much anything that has a dis relatively distinct style. I feel the same way about, um... Oh, uh, there's a manga. And it's... Uh, I'm not going to butcher the name. And the English names for these things are always kind of lame. Uh, infamous Talker is, uh, I suppose, how I would refer to it. But pretty dang good manga. And they distort faces. In, not even in like movement, but just like general action general scenes, you know, there's a lot of perspective kind of happening in pretty much, in a lot of the panels that I find to be very intriguing. Like, I would be able to point out, I think, the style of it. Is it steaming? Sheesh. Man have a thermos? What am I drinking here? Please tell me it's alcoholic. Um, I feel like I would be able to point out the style of it. And it's kind of the same thing with the Tatami Matt Time Machine. Tatami Time Machine? I don't know what it's actually called. But, boy is it wacky. It's a wacky show. Very fast-paced. Very hard to follow. Because I can only read so fast. <laughs> but I've, it's hilarious as all heck. Even just how quickly these things happen. Well, I swig dang the whole dang thing. <laughs> I chugged the first glass, pal. Come on. Of course I'm still sulking. You still have me over a barrel. How about that? Yeah? Anyways. Sheesh. How about that? Like I would ever willingly do that. Disappear into some black site. I would hate for that to happen. Um, I survived the hole. 
I did it. A year of torture. Sheesh. My god, the Eggman is freaking sadistic. Holy. You can kind of tell by the look of him, but still, dear lord. That's a bit long, don't you think? <laughs> Banished from the Yakuza without proper expulsion? Well, that's no good. Hmm. Well, <sighs> he sure picked a weird roundabout way to deal with you. You can't see I see the point. Well, I sure don't either. You know, I, I love Saturdays. Not really. It's kind of a love-hate relationship. For one, I stay inside all day, which is a stupid idea. I really should go out more even on Saturdays. I, what I used to do is I would go out, out to eat on Saturdays and I'd walk to wherever I'm eating. Such a stick in the mud. Yeah, shut up, pal. I'm drinking right now. Um, but, you know, staying inside is kind of nice when I have to go out every other day of the week. It's, uh, it's all right. But I should probably go outside, like touch grass and do all that jar garbage. Maybe even once a day. I stepped outside to put the trash out. That's about it. But you know, I don't have to go outside, so I maybe, 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 maybe will, maybe won't. You know. Um, Eighteen count Sejima. Huge at the time. I have no idea what you're talking about, pal. Oh, wow. I get the feeling that, um, ain't that my pal? He took out 18 men, walked away breathing. Dang, man. That is, in fact, legendary. Sheesh. What a guy. Well, yeah. I guess that makes sense. But. Yeah, what I've realized is that sitting inside all day, I sit at my computer all day, and I think it's left indentations on my hair. <laughs> like, I get a, I get a fade on the side, a little bit, like a one to three fade on the side, and I was looking at my hair in the mirror, and, oh, my head has, like, indentations around my ears. And for a second I thought, like, oh, they didn't really blend the fade very well. Uh, <laughs> and then I remembered that I've been wearing headphones all day. <laughs> that might have something to do with it. That might possibly, maybe even, have an effect on the way my hair looks. Because it's, it's pushing up some parts and sealing down others, you know. Ugh. Don't see how it's any of your business, pal. None of your business. Different clans or not, you're my, my, my sworn brother has always done me right. Really? Oh, not throwing your entire life away? Well, isn't it time to learn to cut yourself some slack? I don't know, man. I'm still getting extorted by... I was pretty sure it was you, so... You know. I'll do you a favor and cut it to chase. Dude, we've been drinking for maybe at least, like, an hour. Can you kill a man? <laughs> Pal. Yeah, that's right. This ramen shop worker better be mute. Is that guy that's walking up right there? She's... You said you'd do anything, boy. Can make another... Why do that when I can make another 5 million? Yes, I could. One little phone call for me to Odyssey and I can scuttle that whole deal. I can ruin your money-making business just for the heck of it. Wonderful. Stupid old man. Do you want your money or not, pal? Let me back into the clan! I don't want to kill a guy! I don't want to do it, man! Depending on who that guy is, I suppose. <laughs> who am I supposed to take out? Okay, maybe I can be persuaded. Oh? Makamura? I feel like I may or may not have heard that. Uh... No, I haven't. 
runs a proxy ring, snatches up young girls. All right, he checks all my boxes. Where can I cave his head in? Yep. Easier to do the job, eh? You're dang right, so long as I trust your word, which I do. Because why wouldn't I? <laughs> find, I have to find him. Wonderful. Well, that's great. I have my, I have my mission. I have chosen to accept it. And I suppose that'll be a fun, fun time. Probably on the next episode. Which I feel really bad about, because this was pretty much a visual novel episode. I didn't even get to beat guys up in this episode. I just got beaten up by an old man in Shogi. And I probably didn't even show that part. Um, oh, yeah? Uh, and how many don't matter? You kill one guy, you kill 18? Murder is murder. And you end a life that's an end of normalcy for you. You'll never escape the memory. It's a little advice for someone who's been doing this longer than you. Oh, you know, I will take that to heart. But you definitely did just, like, ask me to do a hit, so... I'm getting mixed signals here. Quit your nagging. Uh, I'll do your dang job. Alrighty then. Very nice. The meatballs right here. I had meatballs actually not too long ago. Like, uh, God, there was a. Uh, uh, there was a lot of stuff. There's like sriracha and teriyaki in the meatballs. Good stuff. Honestly, great. Um, but, you know, whatever. Am I intoxicated? Am I inebriated? I am inebriated! Nice! Get out of my way! Nobody heck with me. I'm a drunk guy in a suit. I like the... Please let my daughter go. Who's saying that? Huh? What is up with this? You people do- Oh god, a cult? You know, I'm not gonna worry about these side stories right this moment. Ah. Uh, would you please let us be? Oh, jeez. Not a cult? That would be just terrible. I didn't know they had Scientologists in this game. I am not apologizing. <laughs> oh, nice! Finally, a justification for the episode. Goons! Alright, step right up. Swing! Bada bada, swing! Swing! Bada bada! Swing! Bada bada, swing! Ka-chow! Alrighty then. There we go. We did it, fellas. Lightning fast. Untouchable. Enemy down. All that jazz. So wing bada bada. Oh yeah. Anyways. That'll be all for today. Till next time. Like, comment, and subscribe. Or I will cave in your skull with a baseball bat. Ah, 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 ah. Uh, but not because he told me to or anything. Blah, 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 ka -ha. I gotta stop saying things like this. Goodbye! Yeah, I hope that one. I thought it was pretty funny.